Good morning folks and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, um, instead of going to Wales, as I suggested in my last video, um, I have decided to come down south a little bit and I'm actually currently in the Cotswolds, um, heading down towards Tewkesbury area, uh, currently in Gloucestershire. Uh, but before I get to um, Tewkesbury, I'm going to an area that's called the Slaughters, if anybody's ever heard of it. So yeah, I'm visiting, um, today I'm visiting Lower Slaughter, which is, as I said, down in sort of Gloucester area in the Cotswolds, a beautiful part of the United Kingdom. And I'm currently about six miles away, give or take. Uh, it's taken a few hours to get down here. It's quite a trek from home. Uh, it's definitely a full day out on the bike. But uh, thankfully, um, this week, I think we're scheduled to have some good weather. Today, it's currently 18 degrees it's quite comfortable so uh, I thought what the hell let's get myself down here I generally visit Tewkesbury at least two to three times a year and I'll explain to you why shortly but uh, last year obviously with Covid again wasn't able to come down and now we are on uh, Tuesday April the 20th 2021 and this is the first opportunity I've had to visit So this is at Lower Slaughter, unfortunately all the shops seem to be closed, it's a shame because they do some nice ice creams here, but uh, it's a really nice sort of oldie worldy shop in that mill shop there in the museum, We've got some nice artefacts, just give you a quick guided tour. Very nice. That's some nice stonework in there. I like that. I like that clock face. That's quite nice. So just walking back here. So this is where I walked in a few moments ago. I quite often get a lot of dogs and stuff paddling in here. Can't say I blame them. the camera around. How's that meant for a water wheel? Very nice. Very nice houses here.
this was well timed. There's some horses coming down. St. Mary, Lois Lauter. And back to the bike. Right then folks, so that is the Lower Slaughter, a uh, beautiful place, especially when the weather's as good as it is today, definitely worth a visit if you're ever down in the Cotswolds. So as I mentioned earlier, the plan now is I'm going to uh, go to the Lower Load Inn, which is at Forthampton, just on the outskirts of Tewkesbury. So, but once again, enjoy the scenery. quite warm now as well, 17 degrees. Welcome to Stone the Wold, a historic market town. Now on the B4077 towards Tewkesbury. Yeah, 
I don't know if I've come this way before. It looks quite nice. That's nice. So yeah, the pub, the lower load, uh, I've stayed there definitely once, possibly twice, and we've had some bike meets there in the past um, from a Kawasaki GTR forum that uh, I'm a member of, even though I don't have one anymore, but I used to own a GTR 1400. And uh, one year, probably about 2013, 2014, if not earlier, I think there were about 16 or 17 of us, all on identical bikes, went down to the lower load. And we managed to uh, create a photograph, if you like, with all the bikes lined up. It was quite impressive. The landlady there, Sam, um, she's a bit of a biker. She'd like, she asked if she could have a photograph. So I sent her a photograph of all the bikes lined up, because they do have a lot of bike meets there. And I think she's got that, uh, I'll certainly the last time I went, which will have been late 2019, she still had the photograph in a mount on the staircase, I think it was, going up to the accommodation. So that was quite nice that she still chose to do that. But yeah, lovely around here. I love going out in the country on the bike. So again, I brought my drone with me, so I'm going to try and get some drone footage at the lower load because um, the River Severn is right in front of it, there's some nice boats on there, so I'll see if I can wangle something there, as long as there's not too many people around. Show what they're slowing down for. I'd like to say thank you as well, well I remember, to everybody uh, who's uh, subscribed to my channel recently. I seem to have had quite a, an increase. Um, I know I'm only a very small channel and I certainly uh, haven't got a lot of subscribers, but that's not necessarily what it's all about. I mean, I create these videos because A, I enjoy doing it, I enjoy getting out on the bike, and it gives me pleasure when I know that people have watched my videos, taken the time to watch the videos in particular, and uh, enjoyed them so much that uh, they've felt, uh, you know, compelled, if you like, to subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's a nice sort of feeling, you know, and uh, I'm gonna continue, obviously, trying to put out content for everybody, things that people like. I've had little bits of snippets of information and suggestions sent to me which is good so you know some people have commented about what it is they like about my videos and that's the sort of thing I'm looking for just so I can continue to focus on that aspect of my filming and my editing uh, and continue to grow from strength to strength early days Everybody's got to start off somewhere. 
I'm hoping to set up another camera on the bike as well. Um, I'm in two minds where to mount it at the moment. So I'm either going to go for handlebar mounted, looking back at me. I don't know why people would want to look at me, I've no idea. Um, but quite a lot of vloggers do that. And it does give a, a nice sort of perspective to the bike ride. You know, so obviously like you've got your forward helmet cam and then you've got your rear camera as well just uh, showing a bit more context if you like to the ride alternatively I could mount it I haven't got any panniers on the GS I'm not sure whether I'll bother getting any to be fair I seem to manage all right with just my top box for the time being so uh, I could always mount uh, another camera onto the, uh, there's the scaffold in at the back of the bike for the panniers um, I've got one of these like ram mounts so uh, and it's like a, a clamp jaws if you like so something like that easy to mount I shall do a bit of trial and error I'm just waiting for some more mounts to arrive which are coming today from Amazon so obviously I'm not at home but hopefully they'll leave them in my normal place I'm just coming into Toddington here. Some old railway carriages down there. What's that then? It's a nice new road here. The council must have some spare money. A barber there running from a van. That's a good idea. What's this in? Ye old Hobnails. It's a nice looking pub. Country Inn and Restaurant. We seem to have a tractor holding us up. in here possibly not the best overtake but it worked old army base there what's this current doesn't seem to be much activity not sure which base that is leave a comment down below if you know what base that is I wonder if they'd mind if I took a photo there I'll tell you something there's only one way to find out. There you go, Babcock. I can ask, can't I? Turn that off. Oh. So I've just asked permission there just to see if I could just take a photograph of my bike in front of this. And the guy said yes. Why not? I'm going to do any harm, am I? I think I'll put my summer gloves on. It's getting a bit warm. Ah. 
That was good. I suppose you've got to look for opportunities like that. Oops, house keys. And off we go again. So that's Babcock. Possibly heard of it. Oh, it feels funny riding in summer gloves. Let's see if I can fill up here, that would make sense. So that's all very well organised there, certainly where I come from we don't have entry and exit sort of uh, setups like that but that's like on a traffic light system so you've got to wait outside till the light turns green and then you're good to go. Right all filled up so at least I don't have to worry about finding a petrol station when I'm leaving the pub I'm good to go. Clear, clear, clear. So welcome to Tewkesbury, a historic riverside town. So yeah, this handbrake feature on the bike is pretty handy. I mean, I know I'm not on a hill here, but it's just nice sometimes. Bang your handbrake on, even though there might be a very slight gradient and you're not sort of putting strain on your legs. You can just chill out while you wait for the lights to change. Which they are now doing. Nice spring up. So this is Tewkesbury Town Centre, it's a nice little town actually, seems to have a good selection of shops, it's nice and clean. And another nice Springer over there, a little chalky and white one, a liver and white. So next left here. River Seven. It's a nice looking Porsche. And now we're in the county of Worcestershire. And we've arrived. 
the village of Forthampton. beautiful Cotswold village. surface It's open, eh? I'm sure it will be. There's no camping currently.
Hello <laughs> then. Hey. Oh, are you lovely? Hey, are you lovely? Hmm. 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 That nice. Is that nice? Hmm. You're a big chunky dog, aren't you? Hey. Resident biker. Memory of Alfie, November 2002 to April 2014. He was a lovely liver and white Springer. Beautiful dog. Let's see if I can dig a photo out and put it on the screen now. We're so just taking a walk down to the river. Did a bit of rowing over there. Gonna make a move. So there we go. Leaving the pub, which was closed unfortunately. I don't really care, doesn't matter. Still had a great day out. So there we go, that's the lower load in. It's a shame it was shut. Uh, I suppose I could have checked, should have checked, but it doesn't really matter. I've enjoyed the ride down here. Still managed to uh, have a drink while I was down here, albeit because I brought something myself. I've managed to get the drone up. It's been a lovely day. To me it's just about getting out on the bike and having a bit of fun and that's exactly what I've done. I've done a few miles. So I've got a few more miles under my belt. I suppose if it had been absolutely peeing it down I'd have been a bit disappointed and angry with myself. But when the weather's as good as this, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to head back into the village here, Forthampton. At least I wasn't the only one who thought the pub might be open. There was another chap who turned up in his car while I was there. And uh, the landlady was saying that uh, I was the third that turned up today, hoping that the pub would be open. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, 
beautiful village this. Thatched cottages there. Let this car come through. And we're off. So sat nav says I'll get home about twenty past six. That's not too bad. Could live with that. Oh, definitely nice these summer gloves being on. The hands are lovely and cool. Infamous corner here, where on a previous bike meet, a certain person dropped the bike. Not me, I hasten to add, just somebody on our group. So at least I'm all tanked up with fuel, that's good. Right, so right here on the A438 towards Tewkesbury, which is four miles away. So thank you everybody for watching my video, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this part of the country. As I said, so basically it's Gloucestershire, Tewkesbury, um, Forth Hampton, which is just outside Tewkesbury, which is uh, where the pub is, the lower load in. Um, as you've learnt now, so have I, the pub was closed, oh dear, never mind. I shall uh, endeavour to come again next month, or certainly June. And. And then obviously we had the slaughters as well, they're very nice. I know we only visited the lower slaughter, but they're both very similar to each other. But I think out of the preference of the two, the lower slaughter has a little bit more from my memory, unless uh, somebody knows better. Uh, it's a little bit more scenic perhaps at lower slaughter. So I'm just going to head back here now towards the M5. So I'm not going to bother filming on the motorway on the way home. Uh, that'll just be a bit tedious. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you haven't already, um, do subscribe. It does help the channel. Also click the notification bell. That way you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. And as I said previously, I'm currently trying to upload at least one video every week. And so far, touch wood, I've managed to achieve that. So that's good. So thank you very much again. Everybody out there, take care, stay safe. And if you're a biker, get out on your bike and have some fun. Catch you later. Take care.